If our project has multiple branches, potentially with multiple team members, there is always the possibility of conflict. The same line of code could be changed in two different branches. And as we merge those branches into main, we'll need to resolve those merge conflicts. Let's continue work on our remaining branch, but this time we'll purposefully cause a merge conflict. Recall that we recently merged several commits. One of those commits removed the excess exclamation marks from the heading in the index.html file. Let's make another change to that same line to cause a merge conflict. Back in VS Code, we'll work more on the whip-copy-edit task. First, we need to ensure we are on the correct branch. Click on the branch down here, and up here, switch to the whip-copy-edit branch. Git automatically changes the content of our working folder to the last commit on that branch. Looking at the index.html file, we see our extra exclamation marks again. Our fix to remove them in the merged branch didn't impact this branch. At this point, we should merge the updated main branch into any remaining branches to prevent possible merge conflicts. But we want to see how to resolve merge conflicts. So instead, we'll skip the merge now and change that same line to ensure we get a merge conflict. Let's remove the from the heading. You don't say welcome to the GitHub, so we shouldn't say welcome to the Virtual Pet Cafe. Done. We see in the source control panel that the index.html file was modified. Let's type in a commit message. Copy edits for index heading. Then click the check to commit and confirm. Now we can click Sync Changes to push the change to GitHub. We'll double check the confirmation message to ensure we are committing to the correct branch. We are, so click OK. No problem so far. Let's say we finished our copy edits and committed our changes. We're now ready to issue a PR. We do that on GitHub. Refresh the browser to see the current changes. As we did last time, we could click the Compare and Pull Request button here. But so we can see how to do it another way, let's click on Branches and issue the pull request from there. We see that this branch is now two commits ahead, our two copy edit commits, and it's two commits behind. These are the commits from the bug excess exclamations branch we merged into main, but not into this branch. Let's click New Pull Request to open a new pull request. It provides a default title we can edit as desired. Notice the message here. It's already telling us that it can't automatically merge for us. We have a conflict. But it's so reassuring, telling us we can still create the pull request. Scroll down and click Create Pull Request. And here's the pull request. Scrolling down, the pull request notifies us that the branch has conflicts that must be resolved. It even tells us which files have the conflict. Lucky for us, in this case, it's only one. Click Resolve Conflicts to open the built-in editor and see the conflicts. Scrolling, we see the conflict is right where we were expecting. Get adds conflict resolution markers to point out where the conflict occurs. The content above the equal signs is the content from our branch. Below the equal signs is the content from the main branch. Now we have a chance to look at both changes and decide what to do. Let's start with our copy edit branch and remove the extra exclamation marks. Then we delete the duplicate text and delete the markers. Using the outer scroll bar, if there were multiple conflicts, we'd use these buttons to navigate through them. When all of the conflicts are resolved, click Mark as Resolved. Our merge resolution caused a change to our copy edit branch, so GitHub commits the change to that branch. Click Commit Merge to continue. Notice that we now have an additional commit in our branch. The first commit was for the first copy edit change to the index.html file. 
we changed some text to plural form. The second commit changed the heading, removing the word the. Since we'd also changed this heading in our bug excess exclamations branch, this change generated our merge conflict. This third commit was from resolving the conflict. Before we merge the PR, it's a good idea to check the files changed here to ensure the changes match what we were expecting. These are the right changes, so we're good. Scroll up. Click Conversation to go back. Note that this is different from Conversations, plural, here. Now we're ready to merge the PR. Scrolling down. As before, we have options for how we do the merge. Because we now have three commits on this branch, we'll select to squash them and merge in one commit to the main branch. Then click the button and confirm. Our pull request was successfully merged and closed. Now let's delete the branch. Scroll up, and to go back, we click the repository name. We now only have one branch, our main branch. Click on the commits to view the commit history, and we see only one commit from the copy edit branch. That's because we squashed the branch's commit history into one commit. Click on the commit name to view the commit details. We see here our original commit messages, providing the details of what happened and retaining the branch history. Cool! We'll again click the repository name to return to the main repository page. Going back to VS Code, we want to delete our local whip-copy-edit branch. Recall from last time that we can't delete a branch we are on, so we'll start by switching to our local main branch. Then use the three dots here and select Branch, Delete Branch. Pick to delete the whip-copy-edit branch. Now that we are back on the main branch, look at the index.html file. We still see the exclamation marks. Why is that? All of our merge conflict work hasn't been reflected yet in our local repository. What do we do? If you said sync, you are correct. Click the three dots, then select pull, comma, push, and sync. After confirmation, we now see our latest changes. Wow, that was quite the tour of branching and merging. So, GitHub is pretty smart about automatically merging our files. But when it can't, it notifies us of a merge conflict helps us identify where the conflict is, and provides an editor for resolving the conflict. Now that we've covered the basics of GitHub, let's take a look at GitHub Pages.